In 2008, after a long day, you returned home and turned on your computer to check your emails. You open an internet browser, type in Yahoo Mail while sipping a hot cup of coffee and wait for the site to load. It's a nostalgic moment. However, Google eventually replaced Yahoo and people have yet to learn what happened. So where did the Yahoo of our memories go? Yahoo was the first significant internet brand. Once the most valuable and most visited website in the world, several mistakes over the years have caused its empire to crumble. Yahoo is one of the most successful companies in internet history. Before the advent of Google with its diverse range of services, social media became an integral part of our lives, and thousands of apps and startups began competing for our limited attention, Yahoo reigned supreme. Despite its eventual downfall, there was a time when Yahoo was unparalleled and seemed invincible. They were among the pioneers and most successful businesses during the first internet boom. At one point, Yahoo was the largest internet company in the world and offered various services like music, videos, social media, and photo sharing. At its peak in 2000, the company was valued at $125 billion. However, due to numerous failures, Yahoo's value declined rapidly leading to its sale to Verizon for $4.48 billion in 2016. Unfortunately, Yahoo couldn't live up to its expectations and failed to retain its dominance in the internet industry. In the early days of the internet, Yahoo was a pioneer and a titan among internet giants. However, the company's fortunes declined, leading to its eventual downfall. What caused Yahoo to falter and ultimately fail? Let's explore the intricacies of Yahoo's decline and uncover the underlying factors that led to its demise. Jerry Yang and David Philo founded Yahoo in 1994. It quickly became a web giant and was one of the pioneers of the early internet era in the 1990s. Yahoo was the most visited site globally, once worth $125 billion. However, its decline was just as rapid and it was eventually acquired by Verizon for a mere $4.48 billion, which is less than 4% of its peak value. The company began generating revenue through advertising banners, a novel concept at the time that enabled it to expand quickly. In April 1996, Yahoo went public and its stock price surged by 600% within two years. By 1998, Yahoo had become the primary starting point for web users receiving 95 million page views daily. After its meteoric rise during the late 1990s and early 2000s, Yahoo faced a series of challenges and strategic missteps. Yahoo's failure can be traced back to several factors. One pivotal moment was its decision to pass on the opportunity to acquire Google in its early days for a mere $5 billion, which allowed Google to dominate the online search and advertising industry for years to come. However, Yahoo also faced competition from social media giants such as Facebook and Twitter, which diverted user attention and advertising revenue away from Yahoo's properties. Despite declining user engagement, Yahoo failed to take action and adapt to the changing landscape, further contributing to its downfall. Finally, a series of controversies damaged Yahoo's reputation as a tech giant, ultimately leading to its demise. In 1998, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the founders of Google, offered to sell their startup algorithm to Yahoo for $1 million. The algorithm was intended to enhance Yahoo's search engine's performance and improve the web search experience. However, Yahoo declined the offer since it wanted its users to spend more time on Yahoo's platform, generating more revenue from advertising banners on the website. In 2002, Yahoo had another opportunity to acquire Google for $5 billion, but CEO Terry Semmel refused the offer after months of negotiation. Yahoo initially offered to purchase Google for $3 billion, but Google was adamant about receiving $5 billion, leading to the deal falling. The company should have kept up with the two major trends of the consumer internet, the rise of social networks, and the increasing popularity of mobile devices. The latter was challenging for Yahoo. Display ads didn't work well on small screens, and people spent more time on apps than on traditional mobile websites. Despite Yahoo Mail's success, Yahoo's mobile apps failed to gain significant popularity among iPhone or Android users. Yahoo prioritizes business over providing a quality user experience. The website had many advertisements and frequently changed its user interface, making it challenging for users to adapt to the new changes.
During the emergence of social networking, Google was already established as a significant player in online search. In July 2006, Yahoo attempted to acquire Facebook for $1.1 billion. Unfortunately, the deal fell through, and the missed opportunity to purchase Facebook was added to Yahoo's list of missed opportunities. The rise of Google led to the decline of Yahoo. Google had a superior search engine that attracted a lot of traffic, which made it easy for them to figure out the advertising business. As a result, Yahoo lost its position as the go-to website for search. To compensate for this, they tried to innovate by launching numerous content services, including news, finance, videos, and social networks. Some of these services were successful, while others were not. Yahoo experienced frequent leadership changes, with a revolving door of CEO attempting to steer the company in a new direction. However, the lack of cohesive leadership and strategic vision resulted in a fragmented corporate culture and internal turmoil. Constant management reshuffles and strategic missteps further eroded investor confidence and hindered Yahoo's ability to execute long-term growth strategies. Many of us have tried multitasking, attempting to fit as many activities as possible into our busy schedules. However, trying to do too many things at once rarely leads to successful outcomes. This was the case with Yahoo, who had many ideas but struggled to execute them in an organized manner. As a result, their website became overcrowded with unrelated content, causing confusion among users. This messiness was not well received by users and led to a negative response. Marissa Mayer, a former vice president of Google, became the CEO of Yahoo in 2012 with high hopes of reviving the company's past glory. She worked relentlessly to achieve this goal. In 2013, Yahoo acquired the Tumblr blogging platform for $1.1 billion. But unfortunately, the site continued to lose users and struggled to compete with other social media platforms. In 2019, the site was eventually sold to Automatic, the publisher of WordPress.com. Yahoo's downfall can be attributed to its inability to innovate and adapt to changing market trends. In contrast, competitors like Google and Facebook embraced disruptive technologies and user-centric approaches, which propelled them forward. Yahoo's reluctance to invest in emerging technologies and its failure to capitalize on key opportunities, such as social networking and mobile platforms, left it behind its competitors. As new and innovative platforms emerged, Yahoo faced the challenge of maintaining its relevance among users. Despite being a pioneer in its field, Yahoo's core products, like Yahoo Mail and Yahoo Search, struggled to keep up with more user-friendly alternatives. Moreover, Yahoo's inability to monetize its vast user base and provide engaging content and services resulted in a decline in user engagement and advertising revenue. Yahoo's reputation suffered a significant blow due to a number of security breaches and privacy scandals. In 2013 and 2014, Yahoo experienced two major data breaches, which resulted in the compromise of personal information belonging to millions of users. The company mishandled the incidents and delayed the disclosure of the breaches, which damaged its credibility and eroded user trust, thereby worsening its decline. Yahoo failed ultimately because of their lack of vision. They were unable to innovate over time, as they had initially done, and did very little to satisfy their customers. Furthermore, they missed various opportunities to acquire large companies such as Facebook or Google, but never truly took control and went through with the purchases. The purchases they did make didn't bring them much success and eventually became irrelevant services due to a lack of updates and optimization. They flourished in the early days of online advertising but failed to keep up with the constantly evolving trends. As a result, they were left behind by their competitors, such as Google and Facebook, who also relied on ad revenue as their primary business model. Although Yahoo is still active in the market, it faces more robust competition and has struggled due to poor acquisition decisions, spreading its focus too thin and frequent leadership changes. These factors have all contributed to the downfall of this once great tech giant. Yahoo's lack of clear vision and purpose was evident in strategic errors, while Google and Microsoft were directionally clear. The failure of Yahoo serves as a warning to companies operating in the fast-paced world of technology and digital innovation. Although Yahoo enjoyed early successes and was a pioneer in its field, it failed to adapt to changing market dynamics, innovate effectively, and address internal challenges, which ultimately led to its downfall.
The demise of Yahoo highlights the importance of strategic foresight, strong leadership, and continuous innovation to navigate the complexities of the digital age. While Yahoo's legacy may live on in the annals of internet history, its fall from grace serves as a sobering lesson for companies striving to remain relevant and competitive in an ever-evolving landscape. Please subscribe for more exciting content. Thank you.